Hi, this is Phil Hinton and welcome back to our video with Rick Dean, Senior Vice President of THX. I continued the conversation by asking Rick about THX's Display Certification Programme and how that gets towards what the director intended. Going back a few years, um, I have had projects where I sit in a small room like this, uh, calibrated environment, picture and sound, something that we work with the director day in and day out for two weeks. and. Now it's time for the director to actually make final approval of what he sees and what he hears. It's, it's his art. And when they, when they look at the screen and hear the sound, they say, this is my movie. Thank you. And then he says, will the consumer ever see this? You know, in the past days, we'd had to say no. But in today's world, there is no reason why we can't define a pixel in post-production and have that same pixel, the qualities of the pixel, appear in the home in the same way. There's little, little excuse for it. It's, it doesn't come easy, but that's why THX is developing technologies, not only to help the certification of displays, to match the parameters that we use when, when grading of the picture and creation of the sound are all done in you know, very expensive rooms. Um, but also to make sure the functionalities of all those devices work together too. Because we're in a world of very complex media and you could put, you know, watching a Blu-ray movie in games mode isn't necessarily projecting the best picture quality from that movie. Um, so the goal of the certification of displays had to wait for the, um, for the uh, technology to enable us to have a nice stable picture and you know, be able to put things into the right mode and you know, go back to that same mode, the same picture six months later and still see the same image. We didn't have that with CRT. So that's an exciting prospect for people now. They can go and buy a TV or a projector and they get to see the image as close as possible out of the box to what the director intended. But you have another technology which I find fascinating, and that's the media director. Yes. So maybe you can tell us about that. Oh, that's so important, because that, that is really the last bit of enabling a product to work well. Um, right now, today, we have so many, so many different types of media going into that display um, that the display needs to know so much more about what it is, what it's seeing. If you go from a um, games console, Xbox, PlayStation, um, you can put your home photographs on it, you can store your CDs, you can play a game, of course, and you can play back a DVD or, or Blu-ray disc. That display sees one output from that box. Mm. What is it supposed to do? It's, it, it doesn't know what it's playing back. But there's a difference between photographs, playing a game, watching a movie, watching YouTube, all of these things are, 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 um, need to be explained better so the display knows exactly what mode to go into uh, to, to bring out the best qualities. And that's what media directors designed to do. And it's, um, we, we, we kind of call it uh, simplifying the user experience because that's exactly what it does. But it also is a quality experience because without, without something to automatically trigger go into movie mode at the right time, the consumer is, is, is left for that decision to be made uh, by picking up the remote, remote control. And we know that doesn't always happen. Um, THX is working hard to bring a user experience that's more of a lean back experience. In other words, you play the media, everything works. Instead of going through and playing the media and figuring out what mode, mode to go into. And this is even getting more complex with 3D. Well, that's a great point to finish off on. Where do we go with 3D and, and how does THX get involved with that process? You know, um, I get asked that question quite a bit because THX is very involved with industry consortias, uh, standards bodies, and um, you know, through SMPTE who is defining how the, how the um, master is going to be stored and what metadata goes with it, uh, all the way down to 3D at Home Consortium, which is a group that is, that is uh, uh, looking at how the ecosystem works how you get that content to where it's supposed to go, and then what do you do with it once it's on the screen. Um, from the artistic point of view, 3D is another form of expression. It's another tool to tell a story. And 
you know, the smart directors. I'll take my hat off to Mr. Cameron again. Um, we made a great movie with Avatar. It's a very comfortable 3D experience. And that's what we want to see more of. We want to see movies that utilize the 3D technology instead of making a 3D movie. We don't want to see the technology. We want to be immersed into the story. We did that with surround sound. It gave you more immersion. And now we have that dimensional immersion now with, with images as well. So how all of that works together, once again, is a new emerging art form. And I say new because it's not like 3D back in the 50s. And it's unlike any 3D that we've seen you know, leading up to this with, with, with Anaglyph. Um, the way that 3D is used in the creation of a motion picture, the way 3D is used when it gets into the display, um, these, are all, these are all more com complex models that have to be wor worked out. THX is working, in fact, sometimes leading um, the efforts to make sure standards are created so that everyone can enjoy that. Well, I'm sure we're in for a fascinating day, and may I say it's been a great pleasure speaking to you. Thank you, Thank very, you much very much. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Thank you.